do that. So this is dinner. We've got the green Thai curry paste, which was I think one pound fifty. And we've got we've got the asparagus gnocchi. Which... Dinner for two. Super super easy. Maybe a little bit more because we love paprika. Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and um, today's going to be a bit of a different video. It's not going to be the usual vlog. It's going to be a bit vlog style. To talk about the title of the video, I'm going to be doing a come shopping with me. So I've saw these videos Us. quite a lot on YouTube. What? Us. Unless you suddenly eat alone. If you'd like to suddenly be in it. Oh, no. <laughs> Paparazzi. Come, come shop with me. So I've seen these videos quite a lot on YouTube and a lot of people obviously choose different supermarkets. Here in the UK we have an abundance to choose from but we do our weekly grocery shop in Aldi. Um, so we're going to be doing an Aldi grocery shop and this is obviously going to be handy for people who are going to be going back to maybe university or um, just, just general meal prep life. We're going to try and keep it really healthy. We're just about to leave for a grocery shop and realised that I actually forgot my shopping list but I've got the meal prep list which is here. So this is our meal planner for the week. Um, obviously our schedules do vary day to day, sometimes me and Zara are in some wee evenings, sometimes Zara's out, I'm out. Um, but generally we have about three or four meals in a week, so we've meal planned, um, so we're going to be going to Aldi, trying to stick to the meal plan, and I'm going to be showing you everything we get when we're there. When we come back, I'm going to show you everything we've bought, and then throughout the week I'm going to document our meals, so um, yeah. But before we get started, if you are new here, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and also don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you so much to any new people out there as well. I can't believe we're past 7,000. So I did a really cute thing when I was coming home from um, a holiday recently. She put a 7K on my bed, which was very nice. So hello to any new people out there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now and drive to Aldi. Let's go. One of the great things about Aldi is that they've got their Super 6, which is essentially six that vegetables that they choose every week and they discount them. Um, so you can get like um, two corns in the cup, five, six, five, six, That's great. Okay, so this is everything we've got so far. We've got all of our fresh ingredients, and then we've just hit up the cat in the aisle. Um, it's kind of going good. We forgot actually the shopping list is ours good when one of the recipes, but we have our meal plan list, so we're kind of off with it. You guys have probably seen that these candles are like the Jo Malone dupes and they are absolutely amazing. They've got like the hand wash, the reed diffusers and the candles and they smell amazing. They've also got some really amazing like homeware stuff in here as well. You've got like some cushions, which is awesome. And that's a nice really storage still as I was just found at $24.99. They've got some really nice rugs too. And I got like a bohemian style, which is really nice. Very cool. And they're only $19.99. Dinner sets. Aldi always have some great bits and bobs in here. Aldi's own brand spirits and cocktail mixes are so good and they're so affordable. Like this is a gin for $15.99 and sounds amazing. Zara's just spotted these little um, Nespresso pots as well that are £1.50. So they're like £3 in the Nespresso store and yeah, I think only, how much did you get in there? 10 coffees. It's brilliant. Strength 7, you need that. <laughs> I've also been recommended to try this fajita mix. Lots of people um, have recommended these so I'm going to give this a go. So we're back from the food shop now and we spent a total of £40 in Aldi which um, between myself and Zara is £20 each for a week's worth of breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. It's pretty decent I think to be fair. If we did that somewhere else that would be a hell of a lot more money. So I'm going to show you everything that we got. Um, we also nipped into M&S because there was a few things in Aldi that they didn't have and also we went to Lidl because that's where you park to go to another shop and you've got to buy something so we bought a bottle of wine. But apart from that it was £40 around there in total. Um, and we have, well, what I'm going to do is show you everything that we got and then I'm going to pile things into sections for meals. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday's worth of food. Um, and then I'm going to go through a meal plan and show you everything that we're going to have. And then at the end of this vlog, you're kind of going to see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday's food, which is going to be all documented throughout the week. Yeah, I'm going to show you everything we got. This is our fruit pile and then this is our vegetable pile. The one thing that annoys me about Aldi is how much plastic, like I know things like this you can't really help, but... Maybe not that as much, but even like asparagus tips, like you could just have that with a little piece of string that doesn't need to be in plastic. Like the peppers, just ah. But anyway, it's it's cheap. So, but Aldi, 
Stop it. Um, yes, yeah, so this is all the fruit. We've got, so we've got blueberries, which we put on top of granola. We've got some oranges, some golden delicious apples. These are really good. Bananas, two limes, and the tomatoes. Where do you think tomato goes? Are they fruit? Are they? And then here we have all of the veggies. So we've got some asparagus tips. Um, we have some types of tomatoes. We've got baby plum tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. Red onions. Two bags of bistro salad, which is here and here. Some courgettes. Mushrooms. Bacon potatoes and some cucumber. I like the frozen meat and can section that we've got. So we've got some loo roll. Um, Aldi's loo roll is actually so cheap. And then this is everything else that we got. So um, we've got some wraps. I'm gonna, like I say, I'm going to be going through everything in the meal section in a bit. But these are the whole meal wraps. Very, very nice. And they have the peel and real seal, which is really good. We've got some garlic bread. Some chia seeds. Some espresso pods that I showed you. These for Zara to take to work. Some posada, some thins. This is the vegetable and chicken fajita mix that I've heard so many people rave about, so we're gonna try that. And um, some Greek yogurt, some coconut milk, orange juice, two cans of chopped tomatoes. We've got a massive pack of chicken breasts, free range, some pork um, and apple sausages. And then we also got some granola, tomato ketchup, Thai green curry paste, some parmesan, that's kind of everything there. And then the freezing section, we have these, which Zara spotted last week, and we'll try them now. It's the Gianni's Alcohol Ice Popsicles Pink Gin Flavor. You get four in a pack, and they're only 90, 79 calories per ice pop, which is really good. And just a classic pepperoni pizza, because these are delicious. Um, oh, and also some bread. We've got this um, sourdough sliced bread, which looks delicious. Uh, it's the bottle of wine we got in Lidl. Um, it's the Pinot Grigio Del Viendo, which looks very nice. And then in M&S, the things that Aldi didn't have, we've got some extra virgin olive oil hummus, some thyme, because Aldi's fresh herbs were missing thyme, so the only one they didn't have, and some cling film and kitchen foil, because the ones in Aldi aren't that great. And that's literally it. So I'm going to put all this into piles of what we're having, and then I'm going to put it all away, because I don't want this to go off. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've run through everything that we bought in Aldi, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go through now everything that we're gonna have for the week. Um, so, like I said earlier, what we usually do is try and pair our calendars together to see when we're gonna be eating together and when I'm out or when Zara's out or vice versa. So we have this, which is our meal planner, and essentially we fill it out from Monday all the way through till Sunday, and then we do um, breakfast, snacks, lunch, snacks, and then dinner. So that's essentially everything that we have on here. Um, this is next week's Pizza Express, because we're gonna go either Monday or Tuesday. Um, and then this is just our shopping list that we add to. And then on the side, and this is very organized, we also have our calendar, so we can write down any dates that um, we're either going to be in or out, and then we have the week ahead as well, which you can put on here. This I haven't actually used yet, but this is essentially our setup. So, over here I've kind of piled everything into what we're going to be having for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So today is Sunday, um, so we're either going to be having a curry, or we can have this tomorrow, we haven't quite decided. Um, so yeah, one meal we're going to do is a Thai green curry. So this is all from Aldi, um, really, really affordable. So we got the green Thai curry paste, which was, I think, £1.50, um, and the coconut milk, which was 99 pence. And we've got the chicken breast as well. There's a huge pack of chicken breast, so we're going to be using these for lunches as well with salad. Um, but we've got some courgettes, some mushrooms, some onions, and some peppers. So that's Monday. And then we also got this fajita mix, as I've just showed you, which has got all of the seasons included. And then we also just have some wraps, so that's going to do us for Tuesday's tea. And then this recipe and this recipe is from this cookbook, which I swear by. It's Jamie Oliver's Five Ingredients. I just go through on a weekly basis and try and just choose some recipes with Sarah. So, the first recipe that we just chose is the... Easy Rustic Gnocchi, which has five ingredients. We've got some potatoes, some asparagus, some flour, thyme, and parmesan. So, this is what it looks like. So we're gonna do this either for Wednesday or Thursday night's tea. And this is all of the ingredients. So we've got some parmesan, which was one pound, no, two pound 19. Some thyme, obviously we had to get from m and We've got the floury potatoes, the asparagus, and the flour we've also got away. So that's literally everything for that. And then Friday night's tea, we're going to do the comfort and sausage bake, which sounds amazing and it looks really, really good too. And then again, it's the five ingredients. Um, we did already have some of these beans, which were given to us by my auntie and uncle. These are like the giant large butter beans, so we already had those, and garlic. And the only ingredients we really needed were some tomatoes, and some rustic bread, and some sausages, which we have here. So we've got the bread here, and then we've got the tomatoes, and the brownie apple sausages. 
We weren't gonna put apples in it, but I love the apples when they're baked, so we're gonna do that as a thing. And then for breakfast, we've just got our classic usuals, or so things that we're gonna maybe have for breakfast is this Greek style honey yogurt, which is really, really good. This is like 99p. The protein granola is also fantastic from Aldi. It's got 24% of protein, which is amazing. Um, some chia seeds are really good to put on as well. Aldi's got a really good section of superfoods. And then some classic eggs. These are free range eggs and some sourdough. So we're gonna be using some of that in the sausage bake. And then some of that we're gonna obviously have for breakfast in the morning, just toasted with some jam and butter. I'm also doing a campaign with um, a frozen food brand. I'm not, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it just yet, um, but to showcase their non-meat range for people who are trying to maybe consume less meat. And so I'm gonna be making a spaghetti bolognese with those. So I also got some ingredients for that, like some chopped tomatoes, and some passata, and then we just have our selection of pastas that we just refill as and when behind us. That's a whole week's grocery shop, plus weekend, lunch and breakfast all for 40 pounds which is brilliant so um yeah next time i check in with you guys it's going to be when we're actually cooking throughout the week so let's put all this away and let's cook some food hello everybody so today is monday tuesday today is tuesday is it tuesday yes today is tuesday um i didn't actually vlog yesterday because um we didn't have dinner in the house we were at an event we were, actually went to a film premiere which sounds very french too but um it was like priest cinema screening of Ready or Not, was it Ready or Not? Hands. Ready or Not, it was called Ready or Not. And it was brilliant, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's out on September 25th, so depending on whether this is live, it might be out. Um, but yes, today, today, this evening's dinner, um, Zara's just on her way home from work, so I said, what would you like for tea? We've got some options, we could have had a sausage bake, as I said, uh, fajitas or Thai green curry, and we both were in the mood for Thai green curry, so. Here, presto, I'm making a Thai green curry. So I've got all of the ingredients out of the fridge and like the store cupboard, what we're gonna need. So we've got some chicken breast. I put this in a container because I had a little bit of it at lunch. Sorry, I didn't vlog that. I just had a very, very crazy quick salad. Um, but yes, we've got the chicken breast, we've got some mushrooms, chestnut mushrooms. We've got some spring onions. Um, those are left over from last week, actually looking a bit worse for wear, but they'll be perfect. Uh, for garnish, we've got some courgette or zucchini, depending on where you're from. Uh, some yellow pepper, some red pepper. And then we have some um, rice that we're gonna cook alongside it, some coconut milk, some Thai green curry paste, which I guess you could consider as cheating, but trust me, if you wanted to buy all the ingredients that were in here, we've got some anchovies, some fish sauce, some sugar. Oh, actually, it's already got sugar in it, which is amazing. I guess that's eliminates the need for caster sugar. Fantastic, let's just pop that to the side. Um, yeah, so this is the Thai green curry paste. Basically got everything in for you, so it speeds everything up. I'm gonna put a bit of extra chili in because I absolutely love chili. And we've got a garlic clove, oh, let's give you garlic clove, a garlic clove, and some fresh lime to garnish. And that's literally it. Um, so that's everything that we're going to have for dinner. Also, I've got these cookie things here that have just been sent through by Dorlicious. Um, they reached out and said if I'd like to maybe, maybe try some. Um, and they're vegan and ready to bake. So these are the chocolate chip cookie variety. I've never actually tried them, so don't know if they're going to be good. But um, I've heard really, really good reviews. They're gluten-free, um, no artificial colors, flavored or preservatives, finest ingredients. Um, so yeah, bake six cookies. So I've already put some out on a baking tray and I put the oven on ready to go. And um, please excuse this, it's just recycling. So since you bake them at 190 degrees, which I haven't actually had this on, that's about there. So I'll wait till the light goes off and I pop them in. So in a wok, I've just got my chicken breast and I've just added about, I'd say a third of the jar of the Aldi's Thai green curry paste, which is smelling amazing. And obviously it saves you all of the ingredients to go in. And I probably wouldn't season this just yet, just because I feel like the paste is obviously gonna have sugar and salt. And the thing with Thai food is you want it to have all of the five flavors. You want it to be sweet, sour, salty, spicy, and then the fifth one, which is umami, which is all of the above. Um, good little tip there. And then um, I'm literally just gonna add the yellow peppers, the red peppers, the courgette, and the garlic all in at once. Probably don't add your garlic until um, this stage because it can have a tendency to burn. So I'm gonna have to put the camera down and add all this into there. So this is dinner. It's the Thai green chicken curry um, with some steamed basmati rice and a bit of fresh lime. And um, yeah, this was all from Aldi. Let's dig in. Hi guys, so today is Wednesday the 18th of September and it's day three of the Aldi food shop. Um, so far, going strong. Let me just quickly show you the fridge. 
So this is currently what we've got going on. We've got some like little bits and bobs left over. We've got like, some cream, that's from Zara last week. Some of those cookie things that we had last night, which were absolutely delicious by the way, they were so good. Um, so we've got some eggs going on, we've got some passata, and we've got some chicken breast still left. But, but this evening we're gonna be using these sausages, which are the British Bramley apple sausages. Let's get those out. And then we're gonna need the tomatoes, which are here. So we've got those, and also, those and I think some baby plum tomatoes too. Let's put those back away. And I think that's it for in here. Yeah. So let me just grab Jamie's book. I've got it on the page where it needs to be. So this is the comfort and sausage bake. Um, so all the ingredients are listed down the side. That's what I absolutely love about this book. So we need 600 grams of ripe tomatoes, which I guess it's going to require to about that. Um, and four cloves of garlic, that actually might be a bit of an issue. We might not have the garlic. We, I know I used pretty much all of it last night. There might be a couple left over. Some rosemary focaccia, some white beans, and some chipolatas, chipolata, sorry. Um, so, we don't actually have the rosemary focaccia. We have some sourdough instead. But I'm thinking if I tear up some of the sourdough and then grab some herbs from in here, like maybe like some mixed herbs, and maybe some garlic salt, which I'm sure I've got down the back, and some bay leaves. It should pretty much be enough flavour. And garlic. I think we might have enough garlic. But yeah, this is it. Literally just apparently bang it all in the oven with these beans, which are... I'm going to get some pepper out. Yeah, some of these Chudion, um large butter beans. These we gave to us from my auntie and uncle last time we visited because we absolutely love the dish they made, which is quite a similar to this actually. So yeah, that's everything we need. So this is this evening's dinner. This is the sausage bake from, again, Mr. Raw. Sorry, the shadows in this kitchen are really horrible. Um, so this is the sausage bake with, it's supposed to be garlic focaccia, but with some sourdough sausages, um, butter beans, tomatoes, oregano, um, and that's it, right? Olive oil, well, that's it. Yeah, literally five ingredients. Delicious. Dinner for two. Super, super easy. We are making dinner this evening and we're going to go for this easy rustic knocky that I showed you in Jamie Oliver's five ingredient book. This book's absolutely brilliant. It's got loads of um, dinner recipe ideas in and every single recipe, funny enough, has five ingredients. Yeah, this is the recipe we're following this evening. So you've got five ingredients. So we've got the um, parmigiano reggiano, the thyme, the flour, and we're actually going to add a little bit of pesto and cream just because we need to use this up. So we thought it would be really nice to go together. But we've just got the asparagus in the griddle pan. How are the tatties? They need some time. Do they? We all need time. Hey, time! Great. We've got we've got the asparagus gnocchi. We just stirred a little bit of the cream and pesto through it. It looks a bit more green. I don't think that's too bad considering that's what Mr. Rose looks like. And he puts it down as 434 calories per portion. So that's not bad at all. And we're definitely not having garlic bread with it. <laughs> Hello everybody, so it is the final day of our meal plan and we are going to be cooking fajitas. So today is Friday and we're going to be having some vegetable and chicken fajita mix that we got. It cooks from frozen which is absolutely perfect. Um, it's ready in 10 minutes which is brilliant. Literally, I mean, I know it's not exactly the most cooked from scratch meal but by the time we griddle some of these um, wraps, pop that in there with a bit of the um, seasoning. I think we might need to add an additional season, but it's apparently already seasoned. With some onion and garlic dip, and we've got some fresh avocados as well. So I'm gonna make a guacamole and potentially do you want sweet potato. It might take a while. How hungry are you? I don't know. I'm not particularly hungry. We could maybe do some sweet potato wedges with it as well, depending on whether or not we can be bothered. But um, yeah, that's our dinner this evening. So I'll catch up with you guys once it's all ready, and then I'll end the video. So to make these sweet potato wedges, it's really easy. You just get some olive oil and drizzle it over some cut potatoes. Um, and I've just put them into like wedge style chunks. Sprinkle them with some rock salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt, but obviously regular salt is fine. A little bit of chili powder just to give them a bit of a kick. Don't go too crazy with this obviously, otherwise they will be very, very spicy. And then I also put in a bit of paprika. You can use small paprika if you'd like, or regular paprika, but a, just a little pinch goes a long way just to give it a nice little smoky taste. 
maybe a little bit more because we love paprika. And then pepper, which I can't do one-handed, toss them all up and bang them in the oven for about half an hour, 45 minutes. So I've just whipped up a super quick guacamole with smashed avocado. Obviously, they've got some squeezed lime in there, a bit of salt and pepper, chili powder. Um, and then I've also put some chopped up tomatoes and some red onions in there. And then that is literally going to go in the fridge ready for the fajita. So this is the fajita mix. We literally just popped it in a wok. Um, and it's a stir fry for about, I think it's 14 to 16 minutes. It comes in a portion of two. Um, so we've got two lots of fajitas in here. If we don't eat them all, we can have them for lunch tomorrow. And then this is everything got going on. I've just put these flour tortillas in the oven just to loosen them up a little bit. This is the guacamole. We've got some sour cream here, some chopped lime. I've warmed the dish for the fajita mix to go in. And then this is the sweet potato wedges. Dinner is served. Okay, so that is it. That is a week's worth of meals from one food shop in Audi. If you found that somewhat useful and you've enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit subscribe. If you want to see more like meal plan, meal prep, what I eat in a week slash videos, um, let me know. Say it in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to film. They're very easy to film and very nice to film as well. It's actually nice to watch it back and get new ideas. And also if you've got new, um, any recipe ideas that you think are good to try, leave them down below as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.